what is up everybody this is Lyle with no hippie trucking and transportation this is the second time I'm shooting this video because the first time might have been a little bit too raw because I'm telling you I am absolutely pissed off right now so got this load you know coming out here to Fort Worth Texas and this is one of the crappiest places to deliver uh, the whole Dallas Fort Worth metro area is just a it's worthless as far as uh, traffic and all that stuff goes so anyway there was a discrepancy between where actually this place was you know I got an address on my bills which is which differed a little bit than the address that was showing up on Google and since this was a receiver that Prime has never had there was nothing in the navigation system so what I did was I called this morning about 6.30. I don't know anything about this receiver, right? So I call and I'm like, you know, I uh, just want to call and check on the address. <clears throat> so they're like, you know, well, what address are you looking for? Tell them the name of the company and they're like, yeah, that's the right address. So I'm like, okay. So get out here. Now, typically... You know what, I may be asking too much. This is the trucking industry or shipping, receiving industry, whatever. But common sense would say that if you're going to deliver it a place, maybe that's the sign that you should have in the front of your building. Not a sign that has like some other random name to some other random business is like right outside your business. So I get out there. And luckily, I was able to find another uh, warehouse facility to kind of post up in and made another call. You know, it's about uh, 8.15 now. Give them a call and I'm like, you know, hey, I'm just calling to get directions to your place. You know, are you guys by this Marriott, whatever it was? And the lady's like, well, yeah, but we're not there till 9 o'clock. And I was like, you know, okay, just want to make sure. And they're like, well, if you want, you can just pull into this dock. So get there, back into this dock. And first of all, why do people put cars right in front of docks where you're supposed to be parking? That's that's another question, but that didn't really piss me off. It wasn't busy, anything like that, back in there. So I walk in, and a lady greets me with... <clears throat> Are you the guy that called me at 6.30 in the morning asking about this? And I was like, yeah, you know, you guys are, you know, a first-time receiver. I just want to make sure we had everything right, and I pride myself on being early. And she's like, well, I don't know why you're calling that early. Uh, your delivery wasn't supposed to be here till between 9 and 2. Okay? Now, that's when I started getting pissed. And it's because of this. If sales or dispatch, whoever, I'm about to cuss again, whoever sets these appointments thinks that we are so juvenile or immature where they can't put that window up for us, that pisses me off. And it pisses me off on a number of different reasons. You know, it pisses me off that you have such little faith in, about to cuss again, I was about to say, you know, it pisses me off that you have such faith in us motherfuckers that you just can't tell us what the window is, but I'm not going to go there. Why wouldn't you just give the window? Who says, you know, you got 9 to 2. Okay, so that's 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. That's 5-hour window, right? Okay, well, you, let's say that I was 5 hours away from getting a 7-2 split or 5 hours away from getting a 34. Or let's just say I didn't want to start my clock till later in the day. Why not give us the benefit of that window? All right, so I'm already a little hot about that, but you know, what? and I don't even think I'd have been that upset if that lady not got a little, you know, she was talking down to me and in a former life, uh, that might have gone a little bit different, uh, but I'm like, okay, I get past this, go out to my truck. So I'm sitting in my truck. I'm not in no hurry or anything like that. Chilling. And uh, 
I send a message to my fleet manager because I'm in a place where there's really no parking. You know, I posted up about 34 miles outside of, uh, let's just call this Dallas yesterday. And at three o'clock, the truck stop was full. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay, let me send a message to my fleet manager. Should be unloaded soon. Can you get me a pre-plan so I have somewhere to go? As soon as I'm done typing that, I get a knock on my door. It's a guy in the warehouse. It looked like it was a husband and wife team, something like that, that own this place or something. Uh, yeah, um, you're going to have to unload this trailer. We don't accept anything until it's on the dock. So now I got about 40 feet of a 50 foot trailer to unload into their warehouse because they don't accept anything until it's on their dock. Now that just pissed me off just because that pissed me off. I understand this is the first time that Prime has been to this client so those might be some issues that might come up and you know whatever. I mean. I'm never going back there again, but had it just been, I had to unload this 53 foot trailer, that would be one thing. Had it just been, you know, I get there and have to have somebody talk down to me about, you know, calling her at six in the morning and you have this window, that's another thing, but just the fact that they have such little faith in us and you know what? It wasn't just that the appointment was, there's a window on it. She actually made it sound like she confirmed, or she called to confirm that the delivery window was between 9 and 2. So, you know, I'm almost, I mean, it's almost like if you want people to start acting like kids, treat them like kids, or if you want me to start acting like a kid, treat me like a kid. These are just things that uh, you know what. There's really no excuse for it. To be honest with you, there there is absolutely no excuse for it. To tell me that you have a window from nine to two and have really no reason to not give that window makes no sense to me. You know, it would almost make sense to me if I hadn't just drove. 45 miles to this truck stop if it might have made sense to me if it was like okay well you know what we're gonna set this appointment at nine o'clock because we know that we have another load coming out you know 15 20 30 miles from there that we're gonna get you on the fact that it's just nine o'clock for the sake of being nine o'clock to ensure that a driver is there on time if that's what the reason is just absolutely it absolutely pisses me off that you would trust so little in somebody that has just drove your shit a thousand miles to tell them that the appointment is 0900 to 0900 instead of the window I don't get it anyway uh, everybody's wanting to be transparent and stuff like that well you know what there's my transparency for the day thanks for stopping by no hippie trucking transportation i appreciate it comment subscribe i'm out